It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be finding the error in a multi-step solution of solving a linear equation. So we're given four steps. We're going to find the error. Here's our problem. A student incorrectly solved an equation. The equation and the steps the student used to solve it are shown in this table. In which step in the table does the student's error first appear? So here is our table in steps one through four, and we're gonna identify which step has the error. So I'd like you to pause the video now, do your best work, and then come back to see my solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're gonna find the error where it first appears in our student's work. So we're gonna start by looking at this equation and understanding that we need to distribute. We need to clear those parentheses. Negative two, multiplied by 3x is negative 6x. Then we need to do negative 2 multiplied by the positive 1, which is negative 2. And then the right side of the equation, we're going to leave it as it is, 3x subtract 20. So when I look at step 1, when they distributed, they have negative 6x subtract 2, just like we do in the 3x subtract 20 to the right of the equal sign. So step one is not where the student made the error. Moving on, I'm gonna look at my equation that I have here rather than the student work to see if I would come up with the same. So I see that I have variables on both sides and constants on both sides. So in the next step, I'm gonna collect constants to the left, meaning I wanna make a zero pair here. So I'm gonna subtract three X. What I do to the right side, I must do to the left, keep the balance. And then I want the variable terms on the left by themselves, so I need to do the inverse of subtract two to create a zero pair. So I'm gonna add two, and what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So now let's do that. We're gonna do, we have a zero pair. So negative six X subtract three X would be what remains on the left side. And that is gonna be equal to, eliminating my zero pair, I have negative 20 add two. When I look over here, step two, the student has negative 6x subtract 3x, just as we do. And then on the right, negative 20 add 2, just as we do. So there's step two works. All right, the next step to solving this is I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to add the opposite. So negative 6x add negative 3x is negative 9x. Negative 20 add 2 is negative 18. I have negative 9x and negative 18 and it checks. So it looks like it's step four, but let's complete solving the equation to double check. So here I want to solve for x. To undo multiply by negative 9, I'm going to divide both sides by this negative 9. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. Negative 9 divided by negative 9 is positive 1 or x. Negative 18 divided by negative 9 is going to be positive 2. So here's where the student made the error. Negative 18 divided by negative 9 is not negative 2. When you divide and they have the same signs, your quotient will be positive. So we can see that the student made the error in step 4 or answer D. And there you have it. That's how you find the error. I would highly recommend you do your own work and compare your work to the student work. Easier to find the error. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you subscribe and come back soon.